Lem and Michael, I know you have to go. And of if course. You guys are cool. With, I, I do want to tell this quick story, and because it, it involves a lot of things that we've discussed tonight. This is all true. Oh, I can't believe I'm going to tell this story. I went to the theater one night to see a show, and it was a very boring, boring piece. Basically, a two man play. I don't even remember what it was called. And I went with a girl, and on the way home, I dropped her off. Now, I had to go to the bathroom really bad, but I had only been dating her like three or four times, so I couldn't use her bathroom. I had to go for the long stay. You follow me? Right. Okay. So I couldn't go in her house and do that. So after the theater, I drop her off, and I'm driving home, and I have about 30 minutes to my house. I know I'm not going to make it, but it's very late, and nothing's open, and I'm on 295. (laughs) And I'm forced to pull over to the side of the road and literally run up a hill into the woods. To number two? Joe, it was a, a oh. murder. Now, here's where it gets bad. <laughs> it's already as bad. I'm, as I'm running up the hill, <laughs> I had to exert mm. some energy and use some stomach muscles. Oh, and of course. Yes. yes. Okay, I'm going to tell the truth. I went number two in my pants <laughs> as an we, okay. We've all been there. Totally no, we so. Haven't. Totally yes, so. we have. <laughs> yes, we have, Joe, whether you want to know it or not. <laughs> That's right. No, I mean, uh, sometimes you're, you try to You're going to tell me things. you've never pooped your pants. Oh, of course involved. I have. Okay, then like, shut up and let me finish this. All right, this tell story. your story. So as I get to the top of the hill there, and I realize I'm screwed. I, it's in my pants. I still got to go. I, I take my pants off. <laughs> and luckily, my socks and shoes had no damage yet. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So what I did was I got my socks and shoes off, no damage. I set them on a branch. Then I took my pants off. <laughs> then I used my pants as, like, toilet paper, basically. Oh. <laughs> and I cleaned myself off with the entire pair of pants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you leave your pants up there? I left my pants there. Oh, uh, uh, and you wore your shirt like a dress? No, 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 no. Oh. Because as – this is so bad. As I was coming back to the car, I could still kind of smell something. And I realized I had a button-down shirt on, and a little bit got uh, on the bottom of the shirt. Uh, so I had to take that shirt off. Now, I'm not going to throw that shirt in the car and take it home and clean it. So that goes. Now, I have no other clothes at all. You're not so wearing a T-shirt or anything underneath nothing. your – I am 100% naked except – for the very sexy socks and shoes <laughs> that I was able to save. So from 295 and basically like right past the airport if you're heading north. Right. So from there to what what is Nursery Perry, Road, right before Nursery Road, right? Right, right. All the way to Perry Hall, which is about a 25-minute drive. Right. I drove in nothing but socks <laughs> and, and shoes. And well, I got to tell you. Right. Except for being a little embarrassed, one of the greatest, most liberating things I've ever done in my life. Well, my the stressful thing for me is you get home. Then what? Now this is the the good part. Fortunately, <laughs> fortunately, I lived, I lived, I lived, I lived on a court, so there was very there was a lot of <laughs> like, oh my God, what if my neighbor? But I'm thinking, okay, it's basically three in the morning. Right. No one's gonna see me. The only person, <laughs> the only person that saw me was my roommate Mitch, who was right. sitting in the kitchen <laughs> as I walked in the door, nothing but shoes and socks on, and he looks me dead in the face and says, "Must have had a good night, huh?" <laughs> Let's just say that that is the first time I've ever told that story, including to Mitch, who I lied to that night and told him something else happened. Oh, that's hilarious. And that oh. is a true story. <laughs> and well, I only you. told that in honor of Michael's basically being so honest with us tonight. Thank He's you. He's got envy. He he wishes that he had that exact same. I've story. got a couple of stories that are in that world. <laughs> well, listen, I want to, I know Mickey's got a. <laughs> We're going to use that as a tease for Michael's next appearance. <laughs>